happy friends. Hello, everybody, as Adam says. <laughs> we had a little bitty delay of technical difficulties. Sorry about that. But we're here. We're, we're fixed. We're usually the ones on time, so... Well, we are. It's just I got a new monitor set up, and everything was wrong. Yeah. And then Don't my camera wanted to update its software. And then... What else? Uh, oh, OBS you wanted couldn't to update. Find, you couldn't find your camera. I couldn't find my camera. I had to restart my whole computer. Oh, Zoom awesome. also wanted to update again. Of course it fucking Everything Zoom's wanted to God. update. Yeah. But we're here now. Yay. We are here now. I'm tired what have you been working on? I have been working on uh, the same sweater that I've been working on for like two or three weeks now. Mm. And... I did not bring it downstairs because it's at an awkward place. Um, I'm doing a shawl collar, which is really cool. But it, so at the back of the neck, it's it's already like six six inches wide, but it's only one row at the bottom. So it, oh. it it's a big shawl thing that's going to fold over, but it's short rows going back and forth. Ah, yes. And I'm working on a really big long circular needle. And so it goes from where I'm working at on the back all the way down to the side, across the bottom, like there's empty space, and then it goes up the other side of the stitches. So oh, it, it's a hot mess. I can't really show it yet. I can't no, try it fair. on or anything. So I'm like, eh, it'll just... That's fair. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. But I've also been doing some spinning. Because, you know, I have a spinning wheel, so... Fuck spinning. I love it. Are you using your big, like... I'm using my big honkin' wheel. Okay, well that's different, so I feel like. This is... So it's, it's pretty... super fine. Yeah. Like... That's super pretty. So this is just the first ply. Um, I'm letting it rest. You're supposed to let your singles rest for at least a little while after you finish spinning the singles before you ply them. And I'm okay. going to do what's called a, a chain ply uh, or an end ply. And it's going to make it um, basically three ply yarn. But this, you can see there's different colors in it. Yes. This is a bullseye bump from Loop Fiber Studios. Ooh. And this is their Sea Treasure colorway. It's got merino, bamboo, silk, and angelina. But the, the thing with the the bullseye bumps that Luke does is they are um, color trading, tr color transitioning. So it'll give like nice Sorry. big color blocks. And um, mm. if you do a chain ply, it sort of keeps all those colors together and you can get the transitions from one to another. Whereas if you were to um, just ply it from end to end, it's just going to look a little bit different and you're going to get like barber pulling, <clears throat> excuse me, of two different colors the whole way along. Which is fine if that's what you want, but that's not what I want. Yeah. I want yeah, the definitely. colors to progress. Because I've made some really pretty shawls that have the color progressions. So it's like stripey down the shawl. Sweet. I'm so, excited. Yeah, sometime in the next, I don't know, year, I'll get around to plying that. That has been on my wheel since before the pandemic started. Jesus. Well, it's time consuming, and when you're yeah, spinning that fair. fine, it takes a while. That's fair. So, and I started, as soon as I finished with that one, I started a new fiber. Um, this one is Ooh. from Rock and String Creations. I cannot show it because it's still attached to the uh, the spinning wheel. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. But it's, it's pinks and purples and blues and whites, and it's... Just really bring pretty. the spinning wheel over. Obviously, it's not that big. I cannot lift it right now. <laughs> I'm old and I busted up my elbow and You're not old. I am and I have busted up my elbow. Well, if that's the case then I'm old because I fucked up my back. No no. I am old and I've busted up my elbow. Oh. <laughs> They're two separate things. I thought you said I'm old and that's why I busted up my elbow. Well, no, that's I am old and that's why when I sneeze I can throw my back out. Cause you know. Yes, I do know. <laughs> I turned a corner and pinched my sciatic nerve. I know. Aww. I know. Yeah. Sorry. 2021 was not a good year for my back. No. 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 
What have you been working on? I have been working on another cross stitch. What? Yeah. Like it. Uh, it's the Dead by Daylight logo. Mm -hmm. It's obviously nowhere close to being done. Right. But. And I also have, anytime I work on this, I have to hold it near a screen so I could poke it through the holes. Right, because black cross stitch. Yeah, uh, whoever decided that was a good idea, they can fuck off. Uh, yeah. Except I kind of love it, too. I mean, it looks fantastic. It's just it looks, a bitch to do. So. It looks fantastic, but it is a bitch to do. That's all I've been doing, though, is that cross stitch. Okay. And playing at copious amounts of Dead by Daylight. I do look naked on the stream. Hold on. <laughs> Holy shit. Do I need to adjust your, your camera? No, no. I adjusted my shirt. <laughs> I just saw the preview on our Discord. <laughs> and I went, oh, God. <laughs> Oops. We good. Okay. GB is not naked. I do not need this. <laughs> okay. Oopsies. Oopsies. It happens. I hope I hope mom gets in. She was planning to come visit and watch, but Oh, that's fair. I don't know if she managed or not. Hey Danny. Hey DB. What are we talking about today? We're talking about Mars attacks. Yes, yes. What are we doing? We're making things out of clay. We haven't decided what things, just things. Well, I was thinking, like, the alien, the Martian thing. Those things are real, Like, just the head of the Martian thing. That... Okay. You're gonna do that, because you're amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna make probably just a tiny green man. I mean, that's an option, too. Um... Uh... uh so I have seen this movie before. Um, I I've watched not. it many a time. How'd you feel about it, Danny? How, was it your favorite movie ever? Did you just love it to death? It might have been one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Oh, no! <laughs> it was terrible! Did Tim Burton fail you? He did! I mean, I loved the the concept in theory. You know, aliens are fun and Martians are cool and they had lots of big names. So many big names. Oh I, my god. I feel like yeah. we need to pull up the uh the IMDb oh, yeah. for this. I could do that. Um okay. I'll do that real quick. You I'm gonna just start cutting clay. I'm just gonna just start play with the green clay. Uh, yes. Uh, like Jack Nicholson was bars. in it, and Glenn Close, twice. and Natalie Portman. Twice. Wait, twice? Oh, yeah, he's two different characters in Wait. that movie. So he was the president, and who else? He was the the drinking, gambling man. Uh, the cowboy who was open yeah. in the. Okay. Yes. I thought that was him, like, but he's already the president. Why would they do no, that? No, he's in it twice. Okay. It so had Just... Pierce Brosnan. Natalie Portman, Jack Black. Yeah. Jack Black, who wasn't in it for very long. Danny no, DeVito, Martin Short, Sarah Jessica Parker, Michael J. Fox. Who also was not in it for very long. No. Uh, I was... All the dogs die. Not cool, man. The chihuahua doesn't die. Well... Uh, it is implied that they die at the end. Eh, eh, yeah. I guess I didn't really notice that part of the movie. There's a lot that happens in this fucking movie. <laughs> but also nothing happens. But also nothing happens. And also, what the fuck was the plot? Martians come Mars attacks, Danny! Well, yes. But that was it. Like, and then America's like, we're going to try and have peace with the Martians, which is probably the only alien movie that starts out with America not trying to blow something up. <laughs> like, True enough. True enough. I mean. But like, th there, 
there should have been some plot. Like, maybe a reason why uh, why Mars attacked, other than just, ack! Fucking ack, 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 ack. <laughs> Oh my god, that sound. It's really funny, though. Do you know who does that voice? No. Do you know? No. The man who has voiced Fred from Scooby-Doo since the 60s. Fred? Yeah. Well, that's a thing. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I'm just processing this now. Yes. He is, he's listed as various Martians. <laughs> and it's all the same sound, so it must oh, yeah. just be him. Like, like all Martians. Yeah. And what was with the little red Speedos? What? I... <laughs> Hey, we don't don't judge their fashion choice. But but then they had the ones that were dressed in like red sparkly ball gowns. I'm like, how do you decide who gets to be <laughs> naked and who gets to have clothes? Like there's is it a gender thing? No. <sighs> oh, you're putting too much thought into this movie. Oh, apparently. I just oh it was not, it was, it was, it was not my cup of tea. <laughs> I just, I, I wanted some resolution other than they kill all the aliens. By yeah, the Martians die. Yeah, yeah, they yodel them to death. Yes. Which also didn't <laughs> make any sense. It doesn't, but also the movie was ridiculous enough to go, Yes. Music killed the Martians. Sure. Uh, yes. Martians were like... gone wild. Yes. Yeah. Maybe it's a good thing that I'm having to to work the clay right now. <laughs> it was it was so not a good movie. That was that's five dollars that I'm not getting back. You paid for it. Yes, because I couldn't find it anywhere for free. I know. I went looking and it wasn't on um, Netflix anymore. So it was either spend three ninety nine to rent it on Amazon or spend four ninety nine to buy it. I'm like, for an extra dollar, I'm just going to buy it because I can't guarantee when I'm actually going to have enough time to sit down and watch it and remember without it already being like in my little list of stuff. Yeah. Like, fine, the extra dollar. I shouldn't have spent the extra dollar. I'm never going to watch this thing again. But I have it now. One of my dad's favorite lines is in that movie, though. He he doesn't like the movie either. Okay, but, what's his favorite? But line? the line where he's like, "The American people need to know that they have two out of the three U.S. branches of government still working for them, and that ain't bad." <laughs> Your mom's here. <laughs> Hi, mom. Yes, getting the frustrations out on the clay, I'm trying to get it uh, soft okay, enough okay. to to work nicely. Oh. I have no idea how this is going to work for... The budget was $70 million for that movie. $70 mil- Look. Yeah, it had to! Did you see the stars that were in it? <laughs> yes! Like, that's the only reason! <laughs> they had to pay everyone to be in it. That was That's an insane budget for what this came out of it. <laughs> yeah. Tom Jones was in it? Yeah! Just for fun, I guess? And- yeah. To fly a plane. Did he fly a plane? He did. He he ended up oh. flying the other woman's plane. The, the I forgot. Alcoholic woman, the wife of the or girlfriend of of other Jack Nicholson. Of other Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Yeah. Someone should give me seventy million dollars, and I'll make a movie, and it'll be at least as good as Mars Attacks. <laughs> I like. I didn't like this movie actually. Danny DeVito's character is just rude gambler. He doesn't have a name. <laughs> of course. Well, that's what he was. Was just rude gambler, womanizer, yeah. creepy yeah. old man. I mean, most of the men in this movie were womanizing. Yeah, like, it was very ex- much except a movie for of the president. 
Yep. <laughs> he had other bullshit to deal with. <laughs> yeah, true enough. Like his crazy wife who is redecorating the place and his redecorating sulky daughter. Redecorating the Roosevelt's uh, room. The, the daughter who took over the presidency after her dad died? Did she? Well, she was handing out medals of honor. Oh. And I'm like, that's... Yeah. that's I'm pretty sure that's not how the American uh, system works. No, it's like, not. I but also, all of Congress at one point gets uh, exploded. True. But there's there's gotta be Somebody. something other than the president's teenage daughter. No. Who's gonna be in charge next. There's a trading card series? What? Oh, no. Interesting. Oh, Pierce Brosnan. He was so smarmy. You give scientists a bad name. He was so British. All right, apparently I'm starting to shape an alien head, but I, I really ought to... Uh... The ta- do you want to know what the tagline for this movie was? I don't know, do I? Nice planet. We'll take it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. So I was I was thinking about um, <laughs> painting oh, this when I finished. Danny. Because I don't have the right colors. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, Chad is asking what's more valuable, your $5 or the two hours you spent watching it? Well, at least during the two hours I was watching it, I was also working on my sweater. So it wasn't a total waste of time. Not a total waste, just I, a slight waste. I had a productive waste. two hours. There were a couple of times that I actually paused and went back. I'm like, did I miss something because I was knitting? No. No, it just there was there was nothing there to get. It's fine. Um, actually, I need to stand up and search. Do you know why the skeletons were uh, green and red? Because of the color of lasers that shot them. Because the movie had been re- scheduled for a Christmas release. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Oh, Lord. Oh, I don't, I don't know what to do with that information, DB. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that information. Oh, oh, goodness. Well? Uh, the woman who played the Martian girl in the costume. Mm-hmm. Uh, to make it as smooth as possible, there ha- it had no zippers or buttons. The woman was sewn into the dress every day that they shot that for that scene. Oof. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. I pay $100 to watch this masterpiece again. Of course Adam likes this movie! Well, when I come for GooseCon, I will log into my Amazon account and let you watch it. And Listen, you can give me 100 bucks. You can pay the $5 to, <laughs> to watch the movie. Or he can give me 100 bucks. Don't, don't, that's don't. oh, that's fair. Yeah. How about two hundred? We'll split it. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm doing, but I've made like a witch's finger. Okay. <laughs> this is not an alien. I'm just yes. playing with this in my hand. Oh Lord. I haven't seen it since I was eight. You watch it's PG thirteen, Adam. I think we've already established that Adam has watched a lot of stuff that he probably shouldn't have been watching. At the and then hasn't watching. watched other things that he should have watched. Well, yeah, that too. So, I don't, I, I probably should have, like, zoomed in on this more, because no one's going to see what I'm working on in tiny list. Tiny you're bits making here. a you're making an alien head, and That's apparently true. I'm making green tentacles. I don't know what's happening. I mean, stuff happens. Uh, yeah, apparently. Um. 
Yeah, this this movie, man. I hmm. I feel oh, like Oh, it's based off a trading card game. Oh. Okay. That's That's interesting. It's interesting the things that they base stuff off of and like what they think is actually going to work. Well, well, I'm going to have to undo that center brain bit because I did not center it. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my gosh. centered yes okay so so you rewatched it for this did you oh yeah oh yeah and what did you think of it um i mean it's just as dumb as it ever was i feel <sighs> like so it came out the same year as independence day right 96 yeah i guess so it, it had a lot of, it felt like a parody of Independence Day, which I'm sure it wasn't because it, it could, came out because it was so close. Too cl yeah. But, but man, it, it felt like a parody of it because it had the same sort of structure of all these different people that don't seem at all related, but they're all going to be important in the end, except a lot of them just died in this one. And none of them were important, actually. True enough. No one was important and everyone died. It's like a game of whose line. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, neither do I. I've turned it into a worm. Let's see. That's upside down. It just looks like a butt. <laughs> It looks like it still kind of looks like a butt. <laughs> okay, well, I need to put some some brain folds in, and then yeah. it'll look less butt like. I yeah, this I probably would have appreciated this more, like in high school. Fair. When when I had a little bit more of that appreciation for that style sense of, of humor. humor yeah yeah i feel like i thought you were about to tell me what i had sense of humor and i was like damn danny no no i still have a sense of humor it's just it's not that changed yeah it's not that anymore no man this was a stupid plan brains are complicated little squiggly that, bits. Yeah, that's why when you were like, I'm gonna make an alien, bro. I'm gonna make an alien from the movie. And I was like, okay, Jenny. I'm gonna apparently twist just a little bit of clay in my hand the whole time. Don't know why. Because, you know, you can. I wonder if I can zoom in on the camera. Let's see if I can do this. I have technology, right? I can make shit work. I can get clay or all over my Or you're camera. gonna break it. I, I might do that too. It's fine. What did I just do? I'll do that. See me cry. I wanna die. Ooh, there we go. This might be a little better. We're gonna try this zoom in. Ta-da! Oh wow, Johnny Depp turned down a role for this movie. To be in it? Or he, no, he turned, turned down, down the opportunity to be? Well, yeah. you know, he has made some choices in his life. I don't think this is one of the worst ones he's made. 
Jenny, I feel like you have, uh, like, oh, this was the worst choice he's made in his life. No, no, I think turning down this movie was probably a, a good choice. No, I know, but it feels like you you have, like, a substitute for one of the worst things he's done, though. Oh, he's done a whole bunch of shitty stuff. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. But turning down this movie was not one of them. Yeah, uh, that role went to Michael J. Fox instead. I, you know, I just appreciate Michael J. Fox in general. I'm, yeah. I'm a fan. Yeah. I don't remember the last time I've watched one of his, oh wait, it was today. <laughs> For today, I don't know what the last movie I watched of his was. We're gonna have to do the Back to the Futures at some point. At least one of them. Yeah. The question is, in... do we do the original? Yes. Or do we do one of like the weirder ones that people don't watch no. a lot? No. But I... Okay. But I like the weirder ones, DB. Well, no, but I, I was going to use it as an excuse to watch some of them because I don't know that I've watched all of them. Oh, I mean, fair. We can do that. Uh, Michael J. Fox plays his own family in one of those movies. Of course he does. He plays like his daughter like all of this stuff in that in one of those movies i think it might be the second one has to be because like the third one they go back into the past that the wild west one yeah thank you interest i knew somebody would know second one i've seen them all um, actually more recently than I would like to admit, but... I mean, I probably have. I just... I hadn't seen any of them before. Oh. Yeah. Well, you're you're special like that. Hey, Danny, you want to know how old I was when this movie came out? Younger than me. Well, well yeah. That's how time works. I'm still younger than you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your mom goes, at least I've seen the Back to the Future movies. <laughs> um, I was uh, four. All right. I was old enough to drive. Almost five, actually. I didn't drive, but I was old enough to do so. Why didn't you drive? Because I didn't need to. Why didn't you need to, Danny? Because I lived in a place where there was an excellent transit system. Ah. And it was much cheaper to take the bus. Feel that way now. I'd been taking the bus all through high school, all through elementary or um, junior high. Elementary school, Danny's mom. No, no, the I, I was not. We lived in a different place for elementary school. And I took school. Ah. Bus. But when. My sister was in elementary school. We lived close enough that she just walked. Dangerous. Not back then. I, I feel like things were still dangerous even back then. We just didn't talk about it as much. Well, I think we also, were less paranoid about it. Also, you live in Canada. Nothing that bad ever happens there. Well, n no, that's not No. True. I know. I'm just being an ass. But, uh, Oh, no, we lived in an area where there were a bunch of kids that all went to the same school, and so they'd, like, walk together. Oh, and, oh yeah. You know, you could watch them walk way down the street. And... Yeah, and it's harder, like, when you have a group of kids walking together, it's safer than, like, one child. Yeah. Danny, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing with clay. That feels like what I'm doing with drawing these brain lumps. This is the second time in the last week that I've drawn brain lumps. Uh, what? Why? Why? Well, because I had to draw a brain in ceremonial Tupperware. I mean, I didn't have to, but I chose to draw a brain in ceremonial Tupperware for... Uh... What is ceremonial Tupperware? Yes, it was a, a thing on uh, uh, Great Dane Society. Uh, oh, 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 okay. They, they uh... were talking about ways to store the brain and they had to it's fair. 
Nick had to put it somewhere, Eugene had to put it somewhere, and uh, he only had these ceremonial bowls, and he said, you know, this would be a lot easier if it was ceremonial Tupperware. And uh, so I drew ceremonial Tupperware for the brain to sit in, and it was fine. It was cool. That's true. Yeah. And yes, Mom and Dad did drive me all over the place, and I appreciated it very much. Thank you, Mommy. I, uh, a lot of the stuff that we did in my town was just walk, because it was all within walking distance. Yeah. Until I moved out of town. Danny, what is happening? Look at this thing. Look it at this like tentacle thing. Arm. Yeah, it's a tentacle. We like tentacles, it, right? Yeah, but none of the aliens in this movie had tentacles. Oh. Well, that's fine. I got half a brain. Oh, it's not yeah. going to focus. It's very hard to say. That didn't make that it didn't better. Help. That's fine. I'll just, I'll keep going. This yeah. is a stupid size that I chose to do, too. That's fine. Do, do you wish it were bigger or smaller? Yes. Either way. Like, it's it's too big to be, like, a stitch marker. Ah, it's going to sit on your uh, desk staring at you. It probably is. It probably Until you can't is. take it no mo. But hey, I'm starting on the second half of the brain squiggles. So, I'm you know, proud of fun. you. I'm making more things on this tentacle arm, I guess. More things on the tentacle arm. That sounds weird. Yes. Uh, I heard it as soon as I said it. I'm thinking about putting flowers on it just to make it a vine thing. Ooh. It also is giving me Stranger Things vibes. A little bit, yeah. Except it's green. But I could paint it after it's cooked. That is true. And that's... I'm, I'm going to have to do that because I... These brain things are, like, multicolored. Yes. And I was like, yeah, I, I don't have the the Sculpey skill yet to do that level of of clay coloring and transition. I... Yeah, yeah. So, Danny hated the movie. I... Yes. I was gonna say I didn't hate it. No, I no, you I didn't did. hate it. I just really didn't like it. The, the same difference, man. And it's fine because you know sometimes we're gonna watch things that we don't like. Yeah. Like you and Star Wars. And Star. It's not that I. It's not that I hate Star Wars. Now, don't get me wrong. It's the fact that, like, everybody has opinions on how you should watch the fucking thing. And it's never like, oh, just, you know, watch it, you know, whatever. And then if you don't like something or if you do like something that's not popular, they get bitchy. Yeah, there's there's a lot of toxicity in, in some Star Wars fandoms. Yeah, so that's... It's not... But... I also just don't get the hype. I do want a lightsaber. That's that's the only thing that I'm like, ooh, yes. I mean, lightsabers are cool, man. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. For what? That I don't like Star Wars. Oops. Don't be. I'm not sorry that I don't like this. Oh, I listen, I'm not saying I love this movie. It's not a movie that I like seek out to watch. So it's someone was asking if I thought it was deserving of like cult status and I don't I don't know no. that it's even got that. No, I don't think so. Like it just it was it was not that good. It it's not. It's not a good movie. Like I understand why people don't like why my parents are like oh it's just so dumb and I'm like fair now now I'm like fair what I did not expect was to see that Fred Jones was voicing the aliens yeah no that was that that fact has surprised me and I don't quite know what to do with it i also don't know why it surprises me because he is a voice actor like right like why wouldn't they use a pretty famous voice actor to voice the aliens i mean 
okay, when you put it like that, it makes perfect sense, but still. Yeah. Danny. DB. Tentacle. Tentacle. Oh, my eyeball maker is bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> I wasn't sure what you were saying there. Oh, my eyeball. What about it, Danny? Uh, I thought that round thing was smaller than it was. That's okay. I'm I going I to make this standing up. But now I just want, I'm going to make tentacles. That's what I'm going to do. Tentacles. And then eventually, um,. I'll put them on something? I okay. don't know. They're too big to be stitch markers as well. Maybe I'll make a Stranger Things thing later. Just recycle it? What? Recycle it into a Stranger Things thing? Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's tentacles in Stranger Things. There, there are. Have you watched the new season? You haven't, right? I have. Okay. That's gonna be We're not talking about we'll talk about that later. We yeah. gotta go back and do Stranger Things again. Yeah, we do, because there's a lot more of it now. Oh yeah. And now I've got a new piece of clay to work. Look at me using my muscles. Oh goodness. Oh my dogs are curled up down here two of them and they're very cute that's cute i am all the tired you know that happens when you have like a job and work and life and shit where's you out man where's you out yeah. clay is hard i i forget every time when i start doing sculpty stuff that there's this that time frame where you're just like, oh, my hands. What are you looking at, TV? I'm reading trivia. Oh. Well, share some of it. Uh, the Marsha Girl was modeled after a mashup of Marilyn Monroe and the Bride of Frankenstein. Okay. Who played uh, her? What, Lisa Marie? Was that? Yeah. Give me a second go back up uh yep lisa marie uh is that like lisa marie presley or just says lisa marie i don't know who that i don't uh, i don't know click her name real quick i guess uh <sighs> it does not tell me danny it just She's says just lisa, lisa marie, marie. Oh. yeah uh, go back down oh originally michael keaton was supposed to play art wait who was art he was the skeevy ah. uh hotel guy that jack that jack nicholson played oh it was this final film of sylvia Sid cindy or S sydney jesus she was the grandmother oh yeah i feel like i remember her from other stuff oh yes Oh, it was the last theatrical release movie in which Michael J. Fox physically appeared until 2014. Really? Yeah. Wait, what was he in in 2014? Great question. <laughs> I'm not cutting up Butter Johnny, I'm cutting up Sulkulpy. Uh, clay. We're playing with Clay today. Oh gosh, he has... Making Several aliens. movies coming out. Not movies. Hold on. Nope, those are old. Never mind. <laughs> 2014. He was in... Well, he had the Michael J. Fox show. Huh. He was in Annie? Oh! 
the remake with um Jamie Foxx. Wait, that apparently... was in 2014? Yes, it was. That was eight years ago? Yeah. No. Yes. Danny. The hell? I know. That wasn't like two years ago? I sh- No. It was 2014, honey. <sighs> We're getting old. I just... Time is hard. Is an illusion? Time is a weird soup. I just, wow. Yeah, that's why I have no concept of when things happen, because, dang. Yeah. 2014. Wow. That's a long time ago. I was four years out of high school. I hate you. Why? You, you fetus. I'm not a fetus. <laughs> Relatively speaking. No. These aliens are weird. Yeah. I wonder if I should give him a neck. No. Does he need a neck? Nah. I got some green. I could do the whole suit, but I really don't want to do that much Sculpting. Then don't do it. Well, I mean, it won't. Just trying to get enough here to make his brows, because they are very prominent. But it means I have to need more clay. This is this is the hard part. Is this needing of clay. Yeah. I need to find a way to to automate this. Gonna give me strong forearms and strong fingies. Yeah, look at me go. I wonder. This tentacle is not working for me. Oh, how so? Did you just squish it all up? <laughs> not the not the one I was working on before. I was starting okay, to make a new, a new one. one. Okay, okay. Like, yeah. Jeez, that one was looking fine. No, okay. this one is fine. Yes. This one is done. Okay. Except for baking and probably painting. Yes. Yeah, we're not doing the baking online or on the stream no. today, folks. That's just not happening. Absolutely not. Um, but for any who's interested in my setup, I uh, I have a small um, baking tray, and on it is a, I believe it's a copper-based thing, but it I actually got it from a craft store from Joanne in the Sculpey and Fimo section that is specifically meant for baking your Fimo on. And so I just have this as my little working space so that I'm not transferring things around a whole lot. And when I'm ready to bake it, I'll just take the whole thing up and bake it. That's, this is why Danny is the smart one out of the two of us. Well, Danny also has done a lot of Sculpey stuff. Like That's this is true. a thing this that I've done quite a bit of. So. Yeah, I did uh, a series of um, little sheep stitch markers for a stitch marker exchange Aww. at Into the Wool several years ago, and I made a hundred little sheep. Jesus Christ. So um, I've done a lot, and I needed something that was going to be easy to do. I've got all my little accessories that I've shoved off to the side that don't matter, but we made a little draping, hanging drying rack. Because when I finished with them, um, I got some of the Sculpey, um, what's it called? It's the, it's a, a glaze, a satin glaze. Oh. And the container that it's in, I actually just uh, would dip them in. Oh. And let it drip off and brush off the excess instead of trying to brush on the glaze. That just That's seemed fair. to go a lot more, more easily to do it that you way. You don't have to have a glaze for this stuff though, right? You don't. You don't. But for the sheep, I wanted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're get, doing it as like <clears throat> a trade thing, so you want them to look as nice as possible anyway. I think, yeah. I think you glazed mine too. I I did, yes. Because yeah. I, I like the look of it, but yeah. it's, it's certainly not necessary. Yeah. Um, but I, 
I've got a little drying Rack. contraption. And uh, that's why I have the, the tools that I've got. Because, because Danny, I needed it Danny to is a make pro. things easier on me. Danny is a pro. I don't know if I'm a pro, but you're a pro. But I certainly was doing enough of them that it justified yeah. purchasing stuff. The tools. Yeah. Like purchasing... if I was doing it just for the show. I would not have bought all the, the assorted sculpture tools that I've got right now. Oh, yeah. I don't have any of those. Because I will probably not do much of this ever again once I run out of it. Yeah. Unless Danny's like, let's do sculpting! And I'm like, okay. Well, the good news Let me is... Let go order some more. You don't need the tools. No, 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 no. I meant, like, I'll use the sculpt stuff that I have. Right. And then probably not, like, buy more until we decide to do another project that needs it. Yeah. Um, mainly because I... Not that I don't like it, it's just not a medium that I'm gonna... I'm willing to work with a lot. Yeah. Especially because I'm into more drawing stuff nowadays. Which is fun. And cross-stitch. God, I haven't knitted in a while. That's a problem. Oopses. I mean, it's not like you're on a knitting show or anything. Uh, Danny? Don't like the sass. I'm not a... You know I'm all sass all the time. Who? I'm all sass all the time. <laughs> My hands are green. Yeah, that'll happen. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and forgot a bit. Is there anything about this movie that you liked? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I like Natalie Portman's attitude. She was such a whitey teenager. Oh my goodness. Wow. I forgot how young she was when she started doing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think also... this is the youngest I've seen her, though. I, th I can't remember if the movie where she played the girl who had the baby in Walmart was... I don't think I've seen that movie. I think that was her. It might not have been. I might be confused. Oh, I guess we'll else. look it up. Hold on. I, it's it's a movie with her and Susan Sarandon. Uh, get out of here. Hmm. Not you. Uh, your mom says your alien is pretty cute. Thanks. I appreciate it, Mama. Now I'm uglying it up with the teeth because I can never get teeth looking quite right. Natalie Portman. Uh. I don't know. Okay. And it's something about heart. Where the heart is or something like that. Uh, I don't think it is that because no. the first thing she was in was in 1994 and it was uh, Le Leon the Professional developing heat. Beautiful girls. Everyone says I love you. Mars Attacks. The Phantom Menace. Oh, Where the Heart Is? Yeah. That was a 2000 movie. Oh, okay. 
Well, I mean, we've already determined that I have no freaking concept of time, so that's fine. Yeah, that's fair. Was it Zoolander? Was she? Apparently. I will say this is one of those movies that doesn't look like a Tim Burton movie. It does not. No. But at the same time, I can see that it is like. Oh, there's definitely some stuff. It's definitely weird enough to be. Yes. Don't stop me now. I don't know why Queen is on the brain. That is an excellent question. I don't believe it was in this movie at all, was it? It it wasn't. We had Tom Jones. I don't like this tentacle. We're starting over again. Ooh, third time. Uh, no. no. Yes. Uh, I can count sometimes. I can't. I mean, it's often a challenge. Don't don't get me wrong. Counting is hard sometimes, but. Woof. Woof. Um, my back has been acting up. That's not good. It's fine. So, are you disappointed that we picked this movie for the Summer of Aliens? No, because, you know, it was an alien-ish movie. Alien? No, it is an alien movie, Danny. Not alien-ish. I mean, it just—it wasn't a really good alien movie, and that's okay. Because <laughs> not everything has to be good. It's fair. Yeah. And it was one that I hadn't seen. So that's always important, right? Fair. Expand yeah. your horizons and, and whatnot. Yeah. Definitely your favorite movie ever. Um, maybe not. <laughs> but now I've seen it. And now you never have to see it again. Exactly. There was a small part of me that was like, maybe I should watch it again, like over my lunch break, just to see if it was as bad as I thought it was yesterday. And then I thought, no, no, because oh. if it was, then I don't want to. Johnny, um, the movie that the alien movie that has Seth Rogen voice voiced in it is Paul, which is a very good movie. I am lots of with that one. That has um, Nick Frost and um, Simon Pegg in it. Oh, okay. And they're two nerds from England who go to Comic-Con and then do a cross-country, uh, or do a do a road trip to visit, like, the alien sightings, like, in America. Nice. And they run into an alien along the way. Of course they do. Yeah, it's, ver it's very good. It has... Um, Oh, look at him. Uh, it also stop. has Jason Bateman in it. Okay. Okay. Yep. I like Jason Bateman. Yeah. And there's another woman in it that I forget her name, though. Give me just a second. Uh, if we ever talk about Paul, maybe we'll make Paul. Okay. Is Paul, like, the specific alien... He, he is the alien, yes. Okay. 
Um, he looks like what stereotypical aliens look like. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I took my sister to see that movie. She was way too young. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people see a lot of movies way too young. And I went, Carolyn, do not tell mom and dad. <laughs> Oh, Jean Lynch is in it, which is fun. Oh, she's entertaining. I love her. Oh, are you done playing? I think I am. Sweet. Because I don't, I don't have any need to do a second one. Really? Really. I'm uh, to... so Danny's making the head from uh the alien in the movie Mars Attacks. I'm making tentacles. Why? No one knows. There's no tentacles in this movie. Did I not say Mars Attacks? Did I say the wrong thing, Adam? Looks really... It actually looks really good, Danny. I'm... I'm... Pleased. Pleased? I am pleased. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Like... mm -hmm. Oh, I think I probably will paint it and take pictures of it for the Instagram, you know, as you do. Yes. And then uh, yeah, maybe it will go live on my desk at work. So not? people can walk by and go, what is that? It's an alien. And then, it's fine. And then, and then you can be like, oh, have you not seen the hit 19, 1996 movie uh, Mars Attacks? <laughs> Oh, I need to Google. Shame them. A thing. And find out. What do you out. need to Google? Well, so I know that you can, like, use pastels to, to oh, yeah. add color. But I don't know if you do that before or after you bake it. I think it's before, because I think the baking sets it. Hmm. I have not seen the hit 1996 movie, Mars Attacks. Not You're not missing, missing out. Anything. <laughs> Don't waste your money. Don't waste your lifetime. It's it's important Just... to have. The... Look, we watched it for you. It, it's like yeah. uh, we Odell watch Rocky it Karen's so you thing. don't have to. Exactly. Oh yeah, it was a thing. It was a thing. You know, it was a thing. you're and not we wrong. Watched it and uh, yeah, I've watched it many a time now. I've watched it once, and that was. Sufficient. It for you, yes. Yep, yep. I'm gonna... You know what? I think I'm only getting one tentacle done. 275 with 15 minutes per quarter inch. How do you know that? Because it says it on the package right here. Mine doesn't say that. It says it really tiny on an end on the, the top side. If I'm holding it so I can see the Sculpey, it's the top. This isn't in English. At all? Hold on. Because all my do not microwave, do not overbake, clay may stain, clay may damage unprotected furniture or finished surfaces. Do not overheat. Product and not a toy. Read the instructions before use. <laughs> uh, heat Pepsi for first reference. That is all in a different language. Huh. It did not tell me how. It just says. It says nothing, Danny. Let's flip it open a little bit more. Yeah, all of mine are. Is your Sculpey or is it female? Mine is female. Okay, mine is Sculpey. Okay, that's why. And the Sculpey packages tell you 275, 15 minutes per quarter inch. Hey, Star! So this dude is gonna need like a half hour. Do not mock Sculpey fun. I'm not mocking it. I was just looking at mine and I'm not using the same thing as Danny is. So that's why I was very. I was like, wait, that's not what it said on mine before. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, Johnny, I wouldn't call this a good movie. It is Aww. a movie. Thanks, Star. 
it's a good movie to watch with a friend to trash it yes i would say that watch the movie to trash it don't watch i am the oldest person in this room are are you oh the snl reference (laughs) oh i was very confused it happens so how's your other tentacle coming bad it's kind of droopy. Oh. <laughs> it looks less impressive than the other one. Yeah, the, uh, the other one, the other one is very, very less droopy. This nice. one, the other one is very nice. This one needs help. little droops. A Mars Attacks is not a cult, cult, cult classic. It's not. I don't know that it has enough of a following to be a cult classic. You cannot, but cults are bad. <laughs> I do not agree with you, Johnny. I do not agree. Like, a Clerks is a cult classic. Fucking Rocky Horror Picture Show is a cult classic. Yes. The Labyrinth, a cult classic. <clears throat> Mars Attacks is not on their level. It is. Repo no- the Genetic Opera, cult classic. <laughs> Mars Attacks is exactly what it set out to be, which is kind of Stupid. a ridiculous movie <laughs> about aliens trying to destroy the Earth and then getting blown up by yodeling instead. <laughs> there is no other plot. Johnny and I are going to fight next time we see each other. <laughs> I love it. We're going to have to. Repo is a maze balls. It's one of my faves. Yeah, I can't get much better than that. <laughs> what else do you need? I need... I need plot! So much more. I just need a little bit of plot. Like... Oh, Repo the Genetic oh Opera. God. It is a... Uh, how do you even explain it? It's a musical, for one thing. It's an op- operette kind of thing. Um, where the world has ended and people have to get to stay alive people buy organs and if they do not make their payments the repo man comes for them oh the plot is the little assholes running around screaming ack 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 and mowing people down that's but, all but, but the thing Johnny, is they never actually you're not going translated. to convince us it would, it would be an entirely different thing if somehow we got the translation of what they actually meant when they were running around saying that shit so that we could know, was it really just a, a cultural misunderstanding? It wasn't. And the reason why I say that is because when the president reaches out to them, uh, and they get like the thing that they're reading, they start laughing. So I don't right. think it was, they're like, oh, you dumb fucks, we're here to just murder. Right. But, but also we wouldn't have gotten bread going ack, 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 the whole time. <laughs> just give me <laughs> subtitles. Instead of the subtitles, just say ack, ack, ack. Okay. Yeah, the subtitles do just say ack, ack, ack. Yep. Look, another plot. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We're gonna fight. Where's your sister guy? Hey, hey, Danny, I know that it's early. Mm-hmm. But what are we doing next time? What are we doing next time? We are... We're doing another alien movie. Oh, yes. Actually, we're not doing an alien movie. Oh, damn it. What? I restarted my computer and now it got mad. And now I have to switch to my other profile so that I can get to the Google Drive. Right now, everybody's just talking about Repo. Okay, cool. That's fine. Except for Johnny, who was screaming about (laughs) Mars Attacks. We probably will do repo one day. Um, have you seen it, Danny? Uh, no. Okay, well. Uh, I enjoy it. I like the music in it. It's There is a part of it that I cannot watch. Okay. It's an eye thing. Ah, uh, yes. The oh, uh 
my god, I forget her name. But there's a very good opera singer in it who do, who's done like Phantom of the Opera and whatnot. Okay. Sarah Brightman? That it may be that may be her. Let me check though. Sorry. You're fine. Just realized that I had like my trying to sign in to yeah. stuff over your Sarah face. Sarah Brightman. He she plays Blind Mag. And Anthony Head. Okay. He has a fantastic singing voice. Indeed he does. Okay. Yes, I know. I've got like seven Chrome profiles. It's fine. Give them the Google Drive. Look at my documents. I love you guys so much. <laughs> They're just quoting Repo in the chat right now. Nice. Just one of the songs. Okay. And when the gun goes off, it sparks and you're ready for surgery. Surgery. I'll get in on this. Okay, so next time, August 9th, we're going to be talking about space audio. So we're going to talk about the very classic War of the Worlds. Hell yeah. But then we're also going to talk about 20-sided adventures, where D.B. plays a space princess. Yeah? Yeah. And Eclipse, where I play a wizard who makes bad choices. And also a space princess. <laughs> uh, she's not a princess. She's, uh... Yeah, she's made some choices. She um, has a lizard familiar. Yes. And, uh, I... Are we are we having a guest for that? We don't have just... one scheduled. It's just us for now. Okay, that's fine. Unless you know someone wants to join us. I I I'll I'll reach out to Lance. Okay. Ooh, Lance might not be able to, but I'll see. Also, you know, Jeremy would be fun. If he's still in chat, I don't know if he is. <laughs> I don't know if he is. A princess named Whiskey. That would be a fun story. Yeah. My my princess's name is uh Long and they just call her Nora. <laughs> She's on the run. This tent yeah, uh, fuck this tentacle. It's not working. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We're done. We're done. <clears throat> Huzzah. Hey. What are you doing at the end of September? I'm going to GooseCon! <laughs> Sorry, that was so... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was that was brilliant. Oh hi Hershey. I'm sorry I'm upsetting you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta clip something because my girlfriend told me to. <laughs> oh, yep, yep, yep. No, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, GooseCon is think? coming up end of September, early October. Oh, maybe I don't have that. Uh, September 30th through October 2nd. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to go to GooseCon. Uh, there's going to be some panels. We've got uh, right now a panel every, we've got almost every day we have two panels and a live show. So that's going to be fun. There's going to be lots to watch. Um, we have tons and tons of games that will be there. We've got people playing, um, running different games. Um, if you are someone who has signed up for GooseCon already, if you uh, back the Kickstarter, you can suggest events. And so that means that if you have like a game you want to run, you can uh, pop onto tabletop.events and um, apply. Is that how, was that the right word? Request an event, request a, a game setup. Um, and 
registration actually opens really soon. Like the day before our next show, it opens up for VIP tickets and then the week, the week after for everyone else. So registration is happening soon. Um, yeah, it's a little bit intense. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. Everything's good. Everything's fine. So I'm clipping things. Hold on. Okay. I figured that's what you were doing. I'm, I, I see you looking in the direction of the, uh, the stream screen. Sorry, I've got dogs who are getting very anxious because it's almost medicine time. You're fine. Hold on. I gotta okay. make sure I have this clipped right. Oh dear. Oh dear. Wait, so there are you go. clipping the I'm going to goose con or the fuck this tentacle? I did not clip the fuck <laughs> this tentacle. Okay, that's probably for the best. <laughs> But uh, that I'm going to GooseCon, we need to uh, be sharing that all over the place. It's clipped. Excellent. Excellent. How dare you? How dare you come into my chat and say shit like that? How Ugh. dare you? Hold up. I got this. Goodbye. Thank you. You're welcome. This is why I'm, an, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mod. Yeah, somehow I still don't have mod powers. How dare I, Adam? <laughs> that's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm doing enough other shit. It's, it's okay. fine. I don't need that. I'll mod for him. I don't Thank care. You. Yeah. You, you do the more complicated things. I'll do the moderating. <laughs> okay. That's fair. Anyway. What yeah. are we doing for a craft next time? We actually haven't decided that. Sounds about right. Does anyone have suggestions? Drop them in the Discord. Yeah, because I'm running out of alien ideas. Man. Uh, the, the next... Oh, see if I can get back to it. Haha, <laughs> I can! Cool. The next one is going to be the movie Alien, which I well, have never seen. You've never seen Alien? I have not. With Sigourney Weaver? Nope, never saw it. Because... Uh, we did spaceships. Wait, what? Star said we should do spaceships, but we did spaceships. We, we did, did our contest. We did. It's back there. You can't see it. There's a skull in the way. Mine's over there. And it looks do about... more spaceships. It looks about as good as the spaceships in the uh, Mars Attacks movie. They were decent. Okay, well, it's the same shape as those. That's fair. Uh, we'll tell you guys what we're what our thing is later when we figure it out. But I feel like Danny's phone is gonna die soon, so we may have to uh, leave. <laughs> Danny's phone is trying to give her an alarm, but she can't turn it off because it's busy giving me the low battery. Oh, yeah. So you're probably so gonna hear the beep 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 beep. I apologize. Let's just start wrapping up. We had a little bit of a shorter episode because Danny hated the movie so much. I, and also no. had tech issues and other things. And there we was, got there was some tech issues, but not that many. We didn't start no. that late. But no, also, 15 minutes is fine. We finished what we did. Yes, you did. Well, you finished the tentacle. I, I don't know why I was making tentacles. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I anyway. Don't, don't know. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Yes, it's been a blast as always. If uh, come to Goose Con. Come to Goose Con. Goose Con. Danny and other people have put a lot of work into it. I do say other people because I have not been helpful. You've put some work uh, into it too. I really have not, Danny, and there's okay. guilt there. Um, but come to Goose Con. Come say hi to Danny, who will definitely need it. I'll be throwing. <laughs> granola bars at her all weekend <laughs> yes uh, as con mom that will be my job it'll be and everybody you know are you drinking that water? is a very important job and you can skip out all the prep stuff if you keep us all like safe and sane and alive during the con itself so i got you goth goth uh con, goth con mom, mom, mom will be around goth con mom. Uh, i like it goth con mom uh but yes come come visit come see us uh I will be making sure that staff and crew are doing what they need to do to eat, drink, all that stuff. Also, Danny and I are sharing a room, so it'll be a lot easier to take care of her. <laughs> I 
swear I'm not a child. I just, you know, get No, I'm easy. just I'm just saying that like there will be more stuff on other people's plates. I can at least make sure that all of you guys are hydrated and fed. Yeah, because we will um, get distracted and busy, so. Yes. And if I get distracted and busy and don't eat, I get bitchy. So So we'll know and we'll make you eat. It all works out. It, it won't happen. Anyway. Thank you, everybody. Uh, you could find Danny. Just look her up. It's Danielle and Wah on the socials. Look at you, and, and uh, she, uh, she's DB Todd, so or Deebles Todd, depending on Deebles. Yeah. It's actually Deebles everywhere. Deebles everywhere now. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're here. I was supposed to say we're queer, but it was <laughs> not true for it. all of us. But <laughs> <laughs> you just finish the chant. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're all over the the uh, but just network. Yeah, us Nerd there. Asylum stuff. Yeah, Danny knits a bunch. You should follow her on all social media so that you can see her knitting wonders. Yeah, I have a design or two. It's fine. I'm excited. Ah! Um, but yeah, uh, thank you everybody. Ah! We'll see you in two weeks. Stay safe out there. There's still the Rona happening and heat waves. And he Take well, if you live in hotter places than I do, <laughs> yeah. All right, we will see you all next time. Bye. Bye.